Hey, what's up, Infinex? Tech back here from AndroidRoots.com, and yes, I do. This is the 100% pure official um, Galaxy Nexus 4. Um, yes, I actually got it. I was lucky enough to get the, I, I believe, the very first batch of Nexus 4. And today I'm here to show you how to root your phone on Mac. Now you may be on a Windows phone or Windows computer. I'm sorry. So you can check out the annotation right there. It should be somewhere on the top of the screen, and click on that annotation. That will bring you to the Windows guide. Um, it should be there already. If it's not, I should be uploading it within the you know the next couple hours. So definitely look at that annotation and subscribe to me so you can be notified when I do upload the Windows tutorial. But it will be up there very soon as um after this video. So as you can see, I got a Nexus 4 right here. Very beautiful and. One way to improve it would be to root it. So today we're gonna to be rooting it on a Mac computer. Do keep in mind this will this will do a factory reset on your Nexus 4. So do back up all your apps, music, data, all the good content. Um, actually, it will not delete your music. It will not delete your photos or movies. It will just basically delete your contacts, uh, all your Gmail apps, all that good stuff. So make sure you do back it up or find a solution to uh, fix that problem before we do get started. So once you get that all set up, we're gonna enter our phone into bootloader mode. So power off your phone. Just power it off. Wait till it set, set, shuts down. It should be pretty quick, fairly quick, just because it's a Nexus 4. And there we go. It's gonna be powering off very quickly, a lot faster than Nexus 4 and Galaxy S3. Now we're pressing the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep pulling the volume up and volume down. So all three, vibration, let go of power. And you'll be on this screen. That's it, guys. Now we're going to be heading to the computer. So um, one last final thing is just plug in your phone via micro USB. And the other side to the USB port of your uh, Mac-based computer, OS X computer. And let's get uh, let's head on to our computer. Okay, so as you can see right here, I got a folder called Root Nexus 4 right there. Um, as yours, this will be in the description below. Just download that folder right there in the description below. And unzip it and move that folder to your desktop. Make sure it's in your desktop. If it's not, then you can run into problems. So as you can see, my folder is on my desktop. So make sure your folder is on your desktop. Um, it's not necessary to open it. You can if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. So next up, open up terminal and we'll be typing in some commands. So first thing we'll be typing is cd desktop. Enter. Then cd root nexus 4. Enter. And if, I'm going to stop right here and just tell you if you can't see the wording, you can't see what I'm typing. You can't hear me or anything, any reason at all. Um, click on the same link that you got the the zip folder from. Uh, there'll be written step by step guide with pictures and written, you know, just written instructions step by step, so uh, you can see the commands that I'm typing in. So next up, we're gonna type in dot slash fastboot dash mac oem unlock. So this is gonna unlock your bootloader. Enter. See as you can see, got the dot dot dot. So now look at your phone, and you will get this screen. So let me zoom out so you can get a better look at that. And you'll be this screen that says unlock bootloader and you got these options yes or no. Obviously you're going to choose yes. So press the volume up and power button to select yes. And now you'll be able to see right here if my camera can focus it says uh, unlocked right there. So you can see lock state unlocked and it's in red. The very last one. So you should show the same thing. Um, If it didn't that means you didn't unlock your bootloader. Okay so after that now we're going to be flashing in clock or my recovery. So we're going to type in dot slash. Fastboot dash Mac flash recovery space recovery again. So make sure you do type in recovery two times. Um, so it's uh, dot slash fastboot dash Mac flash recovery recovery twice. And after the second time you uh, did type in recovery, you can press tab and it will automatically fill in the file name for you. Now press enter and now it's going to be flashing clock on recovery for you. Okay, so once it's, uh, when you once you're on here, you can um, now we're gonna um, I'm gonna change my setup and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, my phone is still plugged in and it's still in this state. So we're gonna be transferring a file to our uh, from our computer to our phone. So press the start button, and this process will automatically enter into clock mode recovery mode. Don't worry, we're gonna be doing one thing, and then we'll boot up normally. So you'll be on this screen. Uh, choose wipe data slash factory reset right there. So it's going to do a factory reset. It already did a factory reset when you unlock your bootloader, but do a second one just in case. So after you do the fight, wipe data slash factory reset, uh, select reboot system now. And this is going to reboot your phone just like when you first brought it brand new. It's going to give you all the setup and all that. Um, you can actually set it up. Uh, you can put in all, all actual all real email and all that. And um, because we're not going to be doing a factory reset anymore. So I'll be back once it's done booting up.
Okay, so my phone is um, turned on, it's finished setting up, and as you can see right now on my computer screen, I have this little green Android right here, and that is called Android File Transfer directly from Google. So let me zoom in actually, so you can get a better look at that. So let's zoom in. Okay, so it's called Android File Transfer. I'll have links below as always, um, where you can download it. So just download it onto your computer and install this program. And this program will allow you to transfer uh, that zip file that we were talking about earlier to your phone. So as you can see, my phone is still uh, it's all set up and it's plugged in still. So now let's uh, transfer that zip file onto our phone. So here's Android file transfer and here's my folder that I was talking about earlier. Let's open that folder up and there you will see a zip file right here. Just transfer that zip file uh, onto the Android file transfer which will uh, transfer it onto your phone. So just drag and drop it. And as you can see right there, it transferred it right there. Clapcord mod, super user, the zip file right there. Um, so you can just close it all out now. And now we're going to enter into uh, Clapcord mod recovery mode. So let's head into our phone. Okay, so now you'll be on this screen. So press the volume up twice. One, two. You'll be on this screen recovery mode. Now press the power button. And this will enter into Clapcord mod recovery mode. The same recovery that you saw earlier. Okay, you'll be on this screen. Now we're going to be choosing the second option, which is install zip from SD card. So the second one, make sure you don't choose the third one. I always accidentally do choose the third one, but make sure it's the second one. So second one, and then choose zip from SD card. And then yours, if you uh, use the Android file transfer or any other option, it should be in the zero folder. So just like zero. And there you go. You will see a uh, clock or mod SU uh, zip file right there. Choose it and choose yes to install. So this is basically going to install the uh, root zip files and the binary files, everything you need. So now choose go back and reboot system now. So when your phone finishes rebooting, you will now be rooted. So I'm going to give this a few seconds to reboot. And don't worry, this will not do a factory reset. Like I said earlier, only one time factory reset or twice actually. So I'll wait till this boots up and I'll be right back. Okay, so my phone finished uh, rebooting and now we're on uh, basically the home screen and as you can see it did uh, earlier did it do a factory reset and now you should have this folder or this uh, app called Super SU and now I'm going to go ahead head on to the Play Store and I'm going to install Titanium Backup and show you that I do get uh, Super SU permission. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Titanium Backup after I did download it and you can obviously try other apps, other root apps. Uh, like Clockwork Mod app from the Play Store and you wants to see if you get uh, root access but I'm just going to use Titanium Backup. So you can tap open and now it should be getting SU permissions and there we go we got SU uh, permission right there so it says super user request right there and we were obviously going to grant it and there you go that is how you root your uh, Samsung or not Samsung I was so used to Samsung I'm sorry LG Nexus 4 on Mac like I said earlier if you, need, if you do need to know how to use on Windows you can check the video up right at the top corner or somewhere on the annotations I also include it in the description below as well just in case if you're on a mobile device and you want to see it so that's about it guys thanks for watching that is how you install um that's how you root your uh, Nexus 4 on Mac thanks for watching guys uh, very very easy to do and very very safe to do as well thanks for watching guys and if you don't mind show me, show me some love by hitting the subscribe button up right there and on the bottom left corner give this video a big old thumbs up as well those two things really do help me out thanks for watching guys and don't forget to follow me like me and add me on twitter facebook and google plus those are also very very excellent ways to get in contact me for um any reason for this or any other um video i made that you may need help on thanks for watching guys i will see you next time yeah